There's a box in my kitchen. You know what that means. It's time for another unboxing video. Yay! I will tell you what is in here. I won't make you wait. It is a knitting machine. I've had my Centro circular knitting machine for a while now, probably about a month. And I have been having a great deal of fun with it, really enjoying using it. It's amazing, it makes projects fast, easy, quick. It's, it's just amazing. I really like the Centro knitting machine that I've had for oh, about, a, about a month now. You may have watched the unboxing and you may have seen that I've been posting videos about testing different yarns in it. Well, I bit the bullet and I have bought the more expensive version of the same kind of thing. So it's an Addy brand circular knitting machine. It has 46 pins, whereas the Centro machine that I have that you've been seeing a bit in videos lately has 48 needles. Why did I buy another knitting machine, you are probably asking. The more expensive machine, the higher quality machine, the Addy, will handle different range of yarns than the Centro machine will. I commonly see people commenting about yarns that they struggle with in their Centro machine, they put the same yarn in their Addy machine and it works perfectly fine. Now I did just post recently a video about some yarn that I used in my Centro machine that, oh my goodness, I, I thought my machine was going to break really. The yarn was so hard to use in that machine. So I think that's what really tipped me over the edge of buying the more expensive machine. So um, yeah, I'm happy to have both. I intend to keep both. I'm not going to sell my Centro. I'll be keeping that because it works really well with quite a, a range of the yarns that I've already tested. Um, but some of the yarns don't work well in that. For example, I tried in the Imperial Velvet in my Centro machine, which is a chenille yarn that I didn't expect to work well at all, just because it has a cotton center. So the, the center of the chenille yarns are usually cotton threads and they don't stretch at all. And it seems that yarns that don't stretch don't work particularly well in these circular knitting machines. However, it worked fantastically well in my Centro. I then tried a different chenille yarn and it was dreadful. It really didn't work well at all. I used that same chenille yarn in my very small Addy circular knitting machine, which only has 22 pins, and I made a very small baby's beanie out of it. And it worked like a charm. So yeah, this is why I now have two knitting machines. So maybe you still want to keep watching, maybe don't, fine, click away if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to open this box and have a look at the Addy King Size Circular Knitting Machine for the first time. Come on, let's go and have a look. And here we go, yes, there is another box inside the box. I thought there might be. So we'll say too that I purchased this from JM Embroideries, which is a shop in the Eastern States of Australia. So it has only taken a short time, just a little bit over a week, I think, between me ordering it and it arriving. So bonus from ordering things within Australia, also supporting Australian businesses. So here is the Addy box. Just move this out of the way, just checking there's nothing else in there. Very nicely packed JM embroideries. I'm quite impressed with that. Thanks very much. Protecting the inner box by putting little corner pieces in. Oh. 
So here we have the Addy Express box. Now these are German made and that's one of the reasons why these machines are a lot better than the others. So Germ we all know what German engineering is. You know, it says made in Germany right here on the box. And German engineering has always been top notch. So I think that's one of the main reasons why these machines work much better and are much more robust than the other machine brands that are available. So nicely packaged inside the box. A couple of little bits here. So this will be the these are the oops. These are the clamps so that you can clamp the machine onto the surface that you're working on. That's one difference between these machines and the Centro machine. These are the legs. The Centro machine has suction cups to keep it attached to the surface um, and this one has leg clamps. I do find that the suction cups are pretty good on the Centro machine. I'm not saying that they're bad, but I do think clamps help keep the machine a little bit more secure. So there's all the legs. Let's get rid of that packing. And then here we have, ah, I haven't had these before. These are stoppers so that if you're doing flat panel knitting, which may already know or maybe not know that with these machines you can either knit tubes using all of the needles or you can knit flat panels like squares and rectangles and so you only go part of the way around you're usually missing out like these three needles here but you could do a panel that's only that big if you want to and what these stoppers that's what these stoppers are used for is that you place the stopper over these ridges and it uh, will make the machine stop at that point. So if I want a panel that just goes from here to here, then I put panels in the two spots where I want to define the boundaries of the panel. So that's really great. I was wondering if I was going to have to buy them. I didn't realize they came with the machine, so I'm really happy about that. And we have the bed of the machine itself, which is the main part of the machine. A piece of uh, styrofoam here protecting the handle. Let's get rid of that. Move the box out of the way. So this is the main part of the machine. The legs will attach to these here. It's quite easy to do. I'm just going to give the machine a bit of a quick once over. All of the needles are actually numbered. You probably can't read them from here. I tend not to use that myself, but certainly if I was setting up to do a flat panel and I knew I only wanted it to be a certain number of stitches, then that's going to help me identify where to put the marker. So this is the yarn guide. So once after you've cast on, you put your yarn in through there. And this is really the only tensioner that the Addy machine has, and that's another difference between the Addy machine and the Centro machines. The Centro machine has a tension arm that sticks out here, and it has three different tensions that you can use, whereas the Addy only has this. The manual or yeah, the manually operated counter seems to be fine. All of the screws seem to be in place. The reason why I'm giving this a once over is a couple of people have received machines not from JM Embroideries, but uh, a couple of people have received machines that seem to have been damaged. So I'm just having a bit of a bit of a look to see that everything seems fine. These are made of plastic, although the Addies are much more durable plastic than the Centros. Just, you know, the machine itself feels substantially heavier and more solid and, and uh, substantial. So everything's looking good. 
There's a little bit of weirdness going on on the plastic here, but I think it's just the plastic. So I'll just see this kind of stuff going on here. But I think it's just remainder of plastic from the manufacturing. So I'm very happy with that. And then other things that are in here, we have some spare needles. So in case I break any of the needles, one spare black one and a couple of spare white ones. I did get some spare ones of these with my 22 pin machine as well. And as usual, a uh, one of these little nicely bent darning needles that work really well and there is a hole over here in the machine that holds the needle really nicely because if I if I put that sucker down somewhere you know I'm not going to find it again and then finally we have the manual so there you are I'm going to put the legs on and then I'll give her a test run with some waist yarn and I'll make that a different video so if you're thinking about buying an Addy king size machine, these are all the things that come with the machine when, when you purchase it from new. I hope that was helpful for you and I'm really looking forward to using this. I've got some yarn I specifically want to try, particularly some yarn that gave me a real nightmare with my Centro machine. I'm absolutely going to create the same beanie with the same yarn using this machine so I can compare the performance of the two machines with the same yarn. Anyway, that's it from me for today. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.